Hey guys, the objective of this video is to develop a shear force diagram from free body diagram and the method of sections. So the question we've got here is to develop a shear force diagram for the following beam. So we have a simply supported beam. We have our roller joint, the left end, a pin joint here, three meters from the right end, and we've got two loads. We have one 10 Newton load, two meters from the left, and we have a 15 Newton load on the right hand side. The entire length of the beam is seven meters. So our first step, as always, when we're solving any of these kind of questions, is to work out the support reactions and the free body diagram. So I've drawn the free body diagram here with all of the information that we have to start with. Sorry, that this one should be a 30 Newton force. So this is just a representation of the above diagram and I've drawn in these support reactions. So I've gone ahead and I've solved for these support reactions and the free body diagram you get is here. I used exactly the same method as we've been using in the previous videos. So if you're not quite sure how I got these numbers here, this 3.75 Newtons and this 41.25 Newtons, I recommend you go back and watch the previous videos. So with this diagram here, we now have enough information to start forming our shear force diagram. So the shear force diagram is just going to be a representation of um, how much shear each section of this beam is experiencing. And that, of course, is a...